Coach Caden touched on it. Uh, how big was it? I think it was the first five leadoff runners he put on, but uh, Cooper Angle threw out a few runners, a couple strike them out, throw them out. Um, how big were those inning killers? It's just it's all about momentum, and it, they have it all. And then the strike them out, throw them outs, or just even just throwing a throwing a, 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 a guy trying to advance on a ball and dirt. All of it, you know, outs on the bases are uh, are are such big things to get. You know, you don't want to make them when you're on offense, and you always want to look for those when you're on defense. And so to get three of them today, um, you know, to think that three of the 27 outs came from Cooper Engel throwing guys out. That's that's pretty pretty impressive, uh, and a lot of times can bail out a pitcher who's on the ropes. And you know maybe uh, that outing couldn't get to the sixth inning, not because his stuff isn't good, but maybe his pitch count gets too elevated. So uh, it's all connected, and you know Cooper Cooper really gave us a lift there with the strong strong arm throws and uh, playing fast, accurate catch. And the defense behind him, I and mean, it's all good stuff. The pitching and the defense has been. Significantly improved, and you know, just feels like feels like we're just you know confident, and got a high level of belief, and, and playing much better baseball. Does this team remind you of any team you've been around before? Yeah, I mean, it's there's some similarities to um, some teams that have made a run, where not the the making the run part, but the dealing with adversity part, uh, and I don't think we would be where we are right now mentally if we didn't have the struggles early and the, the struggles are what help shape the identity and help define us and make us tougher and make us more resilient and you know every time we play it's just another game that's close and we may play from a deficit we may play from a narrow lead it might be a, a close margin game and it's no big deal because we have so many repetitions with that already that we're comfortable in all of those scenarios. We're not going to see anything moving forward we haven't seen already, and you know we're we're comfortable in those uncomfortable situations. And uh, you can tell the guys have just been knocked down so many times that they've just gotten back up every time that they're unfazed, they're battle tested, and that's a that's a good feeling to have. You know, as we uh, continue to grow and improve. Was there a certain moment when you saw that? Okay, because I remember you saying guys were this close. I got a feeling like, you know, so a certain moment that told you that, that, hey, other than just those things you saw? Well, it's, it's like Caden mentioned when he said we've been right there. We we lost a lot of games when we had either the, the, the lead or tied after the seventh, the first half of the season. Um, game two of South Carolina, um, you know, all three with UCF. And then uh, the first couple weekends of ACC play, uh, the, the two we lost to Duke were that way. And we had a one strike away from that Friday night victory at Georgia Tech and uh, had the lead against Wake in the middle game, you know, going into the going into the eighth or ninth. It's just, you know, you can't really just say it's all about injuries and this, that, because everybody deals with injuries. But, you know, you just you – just, experience those letdowns enough you know it's like a boxer just gets punched enough to eventually you just doesn't feel it you know and it's just so what you know it's that so what feeling and uh, you know it's that's that's just where we're at now we just uh, we just have been through the ringer enough now that now we're a few things happen of you know we, we've stayed with it a couple of games go our way um, teams the talents the physical talents already always been there it's been there since day one it's just you know once that belief system really gets anchored in though and the guys get confident a confident team can do anything a confident player can do anything and the guys have a lot of confidence right now I asked you about Crichton on Friday pinch hitting going two for two he, he had just two hits against Binghamton before that five for six this weekend two doubles three walks seems like he's making a real bid to, to lock up that right field spot Somebody might have to, but uh, yeah, he's, he did a really good job of uh, reaching base, you know, reached base nine of his last 10 plate appearances and just a lot of quality at bats, all, you know, even the, you know, everything's on the barrel and big hits leading off an inning today with a double, you know, just he's, uh, he, he was our opening day, one of our opening day starters, so we've always felt like he's been there, um, you know, just, just for whatever reason, we've 
had a lot of movement at that position. Um, you know, and so even on Tuesday, you know, Jacob Jarrell's going to catch, and 